This is five on your side at five focused on you. Welcome to your news at five. Let's begin with a live look at Worldwide Technology Raceway. What a busy weekend in the Metro East for the Illinois 300 and at any moment rapper Ludacris is hitting the stage. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brent Solomon. We're talking about a family friendly weekend happening out at the raceway and five on your side. Travis Cummings is speaking with fans who really came from near and far. We're having a good time. We like it. I mean, it's fun. That's what happens when you spend a day on the Midway. This weekend, race enthusiasts are pouring in to Worldwide Technology Raceway in Madison for year three of NASCAR's Enjoy Illinois 300. <laughs> Bruce Lamian and his whole family put the pedal to the metal from Indiana. We all brought our campers out. It didn't, it was an easy trip. They've been getting their taste of the bi-state. Uh, we went to Grand's Farm yesterday, took, took the kids and everything. That was pretty cool. They liked that. So, and now we're going to this race, then tomorrow we're doing the cup race. This crew is sure glad to be making this a pit stop. There's a lot of people here. It's got to bring in a lot of revenue and everything. Just for a gas station, for instance, or a grocery store for the campers. Music, food, and the kid zone all align the midway outside of the two-mile racetrack. Over 100,000 fans are expected to generate $60 million. It's people staying in our local uh, hotels, uh, eating in our restaurants, and, and really driving the economy, the tourism, the booming tourism economy that we have right now. Of course, this weekend it's all about the cars, but it's also about what's happening here on the Midway. Several vendors, there's something for everybody to do, and I mean everybody. I'm blind. And I enjoy it. It's the sound of excitement for Robert Moore and his daughter catching their very first race. I'm a speed demon, so since I can't do it, I want to watch somebody. I heard else. Ludacris was playing today. Tonight at 5, that's why, that, that's why I'm here. Even if the competition is out of the question for you, there's still something to do. It's for the family. It's a lot of fun. Travis Cummings, 5 on your side. Well, T-Pain and Adam Wainwright are some of the artists performing tomorrow. Race time is at 2.30 on Sunday. A rainy day at the race, but no worries. We have meteorologist Gary Frank now to let us know if things will get a little better. Gary. Yeah, yeah, and I think we're going to get better tomorrow. In fact, we're improving now. We've got another couple of hours here. The sun sets, the storm's trying to get out of here. What it's done is provide either some bursts of heavy rain where you've got about a half an inch in a few minutes, or you've seen some ominous looking clouds at the definite mid levels. And I want to show you that spin, and that's where you can kind of see the back edge of that is starting to work its way really into St. Charles County where the widespread rain has settled into Indy and the back edge of that, those little bursts of rain and fingers of rain are continuing to push through Nashville, Carlisle, Breeze. There's a few more of them on 55 and 70 from Litchfield to Hamill, Staunton, Jerseyville and Grafton. But the back edge of this now is really through Warrington. And you'll see there's not much beyond that. And what that's telling me is that we're finally starting to see uh, some better conditions. Temps in the mid 70s here and into this evening. I think our chances really start to diminish and then it comes to a close. We'll also talk about tomorrow as I have changed things around a little bit and we'll detail the rain chances to start next week. All right, we'll see you then, Gary. Well, today, thousands of people are celebrating our students in St. Louis Public Schools. The district is focused on improving reading and writing right now. Five on your side's Mercedes McKay shows us how they're now rewarding students for all of their hard work. It's just an opportunity for the whole city to come together around a value proposition about why it's important to read and why literacy is so important. A celebration of student success. The St. Louis Public School District rewarding its kids at the Literacy for the Loose Sneaker Ball Saturday afternoon. It's really a family and community celebration. The parents look just as excited as the children. Literacy for the Loose is the district's massive literacy initiative launched back in January. Five months later, they're celebrating the thousands of students who took part in the district's passport reading challenge, reading 1,838 minutes or more. And that goal is no random number. 1838 was the year that St. Louis Public Schools was founded. Today's celebration had everything from free face painting to haircuts to even a DJ. Superintendent Dr. Keisha Scarlett says this achievement goes well beyond the classroom. The professional community that um, was created between these uh, the adults, the um, educators and school leaders is what's really tremendous in this effort. Literacy for the Lou is an all-encompassing effort to improve and increase reading and writing for every child here in St. Louis. 
something many parents voiced a need for. The citywide plan for education, it was one of the areas where families um, really shared um, about how they really wanted their children reading at high levels, and this also been a district goal for a long time. A goal that Dr. Scarlett says is already showing incredible results. Children went from writing like one sentence and even nonsensical things to whole stories, and it's just absolutely fabulous. And we knew our children can do it. They just needed a little extra support. Support that isn't stopping anytime soon. This is just the beginning. Mercedes McKay, five on your side. All right, and the reading doesn't stop now that school is out. The district has partnered with public libraries this summer so that children can keep logging their reading. Well, it is the first day of Pride Month, and all month, events across our region will come together to celebrate the LGBTQ plus community. One event is just wrapping up in Soulard, the St. Louis neighborhood hosting a full day of fun with multiple restaurants and businesses joining. There was entertainment all day and booths set up down Menard Street. Soulard Pride wraps up at 6.30. A historic conviction. We're looking into what happens next after Donald Trump's guilty verdict.